Hey guys, it's Steven, and today I'm going to be talking to y'all about circles in SketchUp, specifically how to get them to operate a little closer to what you may be familiar with in AutoCAD. The first thing that you'll notice when you create a circle in SketchUp is that it only uses 24 points to create that circle. We can up that count to 100 or 360 if we want to. We can also scale it down to 3 or 4 as a unique way to create triangles and squares. First thing I want to talk about is how to create a tangent line off of a circle. The easiest way I've found to do this is a little bit complicated, so I just let the video sort of show how to do it and say that if you want a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to do it, be sure and check out my blog, djslimsteve.blogspot.com. There's a link underneath this video to go to it, and it gives you a step-by-step -step with pictures on how to create a tangent line on a circle. A couple of things to note though on this video, I group all of my guidelines together so that at the end of the process I can just select it and delete all my guidelines without having them intermingled with the lines and circles that I want to keep. Also, I'm working on a circle with 360 points, so it's not wanting to snap to the actual intersections very well, so I'm having to zoom in a whole lot. So when you are moving around lines and circles, make sure that you get an X next to the cursor indicating that you're at an intersection, not just a dot indicating that you're along a line. So the second topic I want to talk about today is creating a circle using three points. I hear a lot of people complaining that there's no way of doing this in SketchUp, but let's take a look at paper for a minute. Using a straight edge and a compass, I can create a line that's perpendicular to another line in between two given points. And we can verify this by putting the point of the compass on that intersection and drawing a circle intersecting both those points. Okay, so let's do this again. Draw a line on the page, put two random points on it, and make hash marks above and below this line with the compass from either point. Now draw a line connecting these two intersections, and we have a line perpendicular to the first halfway in between both points. And of course we can verify this by drawing a complete circle around that intersection. Well, we're not here to talk about circles using two points. We're here to talk about circles using three points. So let's put three marks on the page, draw two lines in between the three of them, and now when we create our perpendicular lines, we're going to notice that the intersection of those two lines is the exact center of the circle that we're intending to draw. Now let's do this again, shall we? Draw three points on the page, draw two lines connecting the three points, use our compass to draw hash marks above and below each line this time, connect the intersections with a line so that we have perpendicular lines, and now the intersection is our center point for the circle that will intersect all three points. So where does this leave us with SketchUp? Well, let's start by creating some reference points that we can move around on the screen and play with. Now a handy feature with SketchUp is that it can create a perpendicular line for us without us having to go through all the mumbo jumbo of creating reference circles. So now all we have to do is create two perpendicular lines to the lines connecting the three points and we have the center point for our circle. So let's look at a practical application of what we've just been talking about. Let's say we want to create the curve of the front of this stage. So now all we have to do is put two reference points in the middle of the stage. In this case, I've put them 20 feet apart. Then go along the front edge of the stage and put three more reference points. Now all we have to do is measure the distance from each of those two points on stage to each of the three points on the edge of the stage, write them down, and we now have all the measurements we need to plug into SketchUp. So here I put my two reference points back in 20 feet apart just like they were in real life. Now I use circles to create the distances that I just measured. The intersections between the two I will mark with another point and then I'll use those three points that end up being created to create my circle. And of course that circle has the exact same curve that the front of my stage has. So maybe it's not as easy to use as AutoCAD. Maybe there's a few features that we still can't do. But hey, at least SketchUp's free, right? 